And finally, at last, Marvel's Madam's Madam Hydra, Return of Marvel Legends. She comes with the alternate torso to build Arnim Zolo featuring Red Skull. And uh, here's the front of the package. Top artwork by Ed McGuinness. This is the exact same package that came with Madam Mask. Absolutely no difference. Just the figure and the Build-A-Figure. Here's the rest of the figures. Also Tales of Arnim Zola. Same, uh, same literature. Everything's exactly the same. Before we move on, man, I'm just realizing how huge this wave is. This wave consists of 11 figures. That's huge. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the uh, inside packing Tales of Arnim Zola. Same thing as uh, Madam Mask. It's the uh, Baron Strucker, right? Six of six. Same exact thing, no different. Uh, make sure you guys read these in order. Once again, I always stress that to you guys. You don't want to get the story backwards, all right? Um, let's move on to the uh, bath piece. Here it is, Arnim Zola featuring Red Skull. And I will be reviewing both Build-A-Figures uh, as soon as I get them complete and soon. So let's move on to the character, Miss Madam Hydra. Now, she didn't quite get any oversprays like uh, Madame Mask, but she does have, uh, I guess, some lighter colors in there, and it's kind of hard to see. I think they attempted an overspray, but it didn't quite pan out that way. However, the figure itself is very nice, and I, I just cannot wait to put her next to my Baron Strucker, Crossbones, Red Skull, and yes, the army of 50 Hydra soldiers that I've built. Let's pop this head off and get a clean look at the head. The head is a decent head sculpt. The paint on the eyes uh, is, is a little off, but not too bad. Uh, I mean, the eye on the right, I, no, it's the left side. The eye on the left side is a little weirdy, but it's all good. So make sure you pick up one with a good paint job when you guys are shopping out there. The hair came out really cool. They got some uh, green dry brush in there. Awesome job. Great job. I, I really like this. And also the uh, the body, you can see the belt and the straps on the shoulders match. And they even went as far as painting the zipper silver. So uh, little details. Remember, it's the little details that count when it comes to our action figures. Uh, especially for us uh, adult collectors. We pay attention to all this shit all the time, man. Anyways, let's get to the gun. The gun is a metallic green. Now, what I meant last time when I was saying... Uh, it's the same gun as a shield agent. It's the same gun as the male shield agent that's held uh, across his chest harness. Uh, this is just a metallic green. And they kind of did that with both characters. They did the green to match Madame Hydra, right? Fits perfect in her holster, by the way. Just just like Madame uh, Mask. And they did Madame Mask's gun gold to match her gold mask. Check this out. Miss uh, Hydra here got extra treatment on her... Let me get it right. M4. Somebody corrected me. It was the M4. I believe it was Marvel Legends MMA that uh, junkie that co that corrected me the last time, and you know I don't know my weapons. I don't I don't own any weapons, but check that out. Nice dry brush, huh? And they did the green to match the uh, the colors of Hydra. Well, you guys already know how I feel about this body mold and the articulation, so let's just skip on to articulation. That's the same as the other figure. The head does move side to side, right? The hair is soft mold. The head doesn't quite look all the way down and does not look up right mm, that's alright we'll let that ride I guess uh, here is the torso right moves right and left but doesn't quite go up or down which is the other downfall right here is the uh, shoulder right joint does the does the job single jointed uh, albro here's the uh, forearm swivel and this this is the hand the same hand that uh, Miss Madam Mask has let's go ahead and uh, pick up the weapon just to show you what that looks like again you guys already know doesn't hold the weapon at all just falls right out now let's get to this hand um, that's the trigger hand holds both weapons but this hand on the right can be used to hold or I guess to hold the barrel the bottom barrel of the gun like so I guess that's what the purpose of that hand is I guess because really there's nothing else it can hold it absolutely holds nothing so there you go. Hey, it's a really unlike unlike me to pump out so many reviews, huh? <laughs> I can't believe I've done so many reviews lately. That's crazy. But I'm pretty excited about these waves. Anyways, let's get into a height comparison here. We already know how it stacks up next to the shield agent. But 
Just for your viewing pleasure, let's do it again. Here she is next to a shield agent, roughly around the same size. Uh, the helmet on the shield agent actually brings them a little bit over the top. Overall, I like this figure. Man, I like both of these figures. Uh, the articulation does suck, you know, but it's 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 cool, I guess, to have these female characters that are known in the Marvel Universe, and especially for us guys that have our, our you know, Hydra soldiers and Baron Strucker and we have our crossbones. I mean, it's just like we're completing teams here. I mean, shit, we can do the whole setup with Arnim Zola and the whole crew, and it's, it's just awesome, man. So I can't wait to see what kind of stuff you guys do out there with ACBA uh, with these two female characters, although although their articulation is limited and kind of sucks, but who knows? Maybe Hasbro will uh, will step up their game on female moles and add more articulation down the line. Uh, it just sucks that we already have these characters now. They're not going to get redone. This is it. This is all you get. <laughs> so, done deal. But anyways, um, one more glance. Miss Madam Hydra in stores now. Walmart. TRU.com. Go get you some later.